Yo, yeah, what's up guys, it's Brooke here, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the sparring footage for Jake Paul that has been recently released by TMZ Sport. So, there's been a lot going on regarding all this 25th of August fight event. And me, myself, I'm getting ready to get back into boxing. I'm looking forward to the grind, I'm looking forward to enjoying myself again. But, yeah, we're going to take a look at this sparring for I'm just going to give my opinions, my thoughts, my review. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn notifications on. Make sure to leave a like as well, as it really means a lot. And you can stay up to date with all the latest videos. But anyway, let's take a look at the sparring footage. <laughs> things you'd expect from Jake Paul obviously doing wrestling is that he's got decent footwork and all that sort of, he's got the ground basic. He's alright with the basic sort of things like with the footwork and all that. In terms of the title being pummeling his opponent, I wouldn't agree on that. But at the start way he throws the first few punches, he misses the first one, he may have hit the second one but then that third one where he goes for the body shot, it doesn't look like he hit so it's, it is being mistaken for being better than it actually is, but the guy reacts in such a way that it makes it believable that he's been hit hard, but it doesn't look like he's been hit at all. It doesn't look like he's been hit well. So I don't know, this seems a little sketchy, maybe to try and make Jake look better than he actually is. But apart from that, footwork and stuff is okay. This next bit where Jake pummels the opponent, the guy's leaning on the ropes, he obviously look staged from where the guy is like moving back and stuff onto the rope and Jake's just landing punches maybe telegraphing any move from where he swings back with his arm so much he's going forward but he's pulling back so much with his arm and doing such a motion where it looks like he it's obvious what he's going to do next but the guy's just he's just punching his guard maybe to try not to hurt the other guy Understandably, it is it is a sparring session. The aim is to just improve, not hurt your opponent. But you can clearly tell the guy pushes himself out the ring, and all the other people around like jump in to try and make it look dangerous, look better than it actually is. So staged to make Jake Paul look the better guy. That it, it's just a bit sad, really. You can't tell how hard Jake Paul is actually punching. But it, it looks like he's trying to go like full power, but not going full power, just obviously because it's a spa. But it it's trying to build up more hype that he may beat Deji. But from this footage, it just doesn't look believable. And sure, you can release all the training footage you want of not doing the boxing, but that isn't going to win you the fight. I mean, unless there's any actual footage of Jake Paul sparring properly, I don't believe this is real at all. I believe it's all staged. Unless it's real, I, I don't, I don't believe he'll win. I don't believe that Jake could get the upper hand because the other guy looks like he's never really stepped in the ring in his life. So I'm sure Deji's gonna win. To be honest, he claims that he's uh, sparred, and knocked down, and knocked out a lot of people. And he look, he's being trained by champions and all that good stuff. But unless we get some footage that is actually legit, I I don't believe Jake Paul's going to win, to be honest. I believe Deji's going to win. Team Dej. And uh, yeah, I don't really know what else to say on it. It's just a bit shady, to be honest. Yeah, I'm getting ready to start my boxing videos very soon. So guys, if you do enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Make sure to turn notifications on so you never miss a video. My name is Brooke, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you later.